promised you'd love and honour me, that's what you said. Yeah, but I don't remember saying anything about cooking and chips. They're bad for you. Oh. Well, remember our first argument? It's like a proper married couple. Well, that's what we are, that one. How come the early start? Yeah, seems a bit rough. After all, you need your beauty sleep. <sighs> I'm going to show you our new premises. Oh, about flipping time. Well, come on, where is it? You'll see. Hey, Ross. Right. Look, you'll be fine. Yeah, but what if you don't want to go out with me? Well, you'll never know unless you ask her. What's the worst thing that can happen? She'll laugh at me. Exactly. So get in there and give it your best shot. Go on. Right. Um. What shall I say? Well, try. Hello, Emily. Do you fancy a drink? Right. Hello, Emily. Do you fancy a drink? Perfect. Do you reckon? Made me go weak at the knees. Emily. Oh. Hi, Emily. Hey, hey. Just get on with it. Emily, do you fancy a drink? Let's be joking. See? Boom. Now I've got a clue how to get Joseph for his birthday. Neither have I. I usually left it to Rachel. Would it help if I sorted out his party? No, there's no need. Well, you're going to have enough on your plate with the inquest. I'm not going. It's not what you think. Whatever happened between us, Rachel, she always put Joseph first. I guess it's about time I did too. You know, if there's anything I can do. Yeah, thanks. Well, shouldn't you be at work? Paddy's on call. Chris, look, I don't want to pry, but what Laura said about the business. That's another flaming truck off the road. Hi. If you're in trouble... We're not. It's just Laura's wishful thinking. So I've got nothing to worry about? No, we're fine. OK. Look, I'd better be going. I'll see you at the party. Yeah. Didn't you tell her? Tell her what? The truth. What's the point? Oh, come on, Chris. You'd only have to ask her. She'd bail us out. You do not talk to Zoe about the business. Do you understand? I won't get back in time. So I'll have to go on my own. Go where? Lens. Lens? Well, it's a pool all the not and you wouldn't know it. Place like Oregon Higgins. Drinks like him and all. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Yeah, well. So can't Maggie go with you? She's working. I wouldn't mind a game. There you go, perfect. Now I don't feel so guilty. Hold on. Right. Well, I tell you what, I'll pick you up here then. About 5 30, all right? I can't say I'm looking forward to the inquest. Thank you. You're not giving evidence, are you? It's not that I'm worried about Eric. Graham's in such a state about the whole thing. I'm really worried about him. No, you feel. Emily. Uh... <laughs> Emily. Are you uh... feeling all right, Butch? What? Yeah. We can't. Why not? Eric, can I have a word? I'm busy. That's two. Excuse me. <clears throat> Only, I've got a proposition for you. Uh, try, Tricia. She's more your type, eh? <laughs> a business proposition. Of course, I couldn't stand the mother. Really? Two shillings short. That was on a good day. But Roy, he's all right. What are you doing? I thought I'd put them in order. See? Red, then yellow, then pink, then green. Like the song. The song? I can sing a rainbow. Oh, for heaven's sake. It looks nicer that way. Hello. Emily. Do you like my shelves? What? Oh, yeah. Hey, they're all the same colour. Hey, it's dead nice, is that? Can I get you something? Yeah, I'll have... Um... Don't tell me. Pack it to mints. Right. Emily. Important things look right, don't you think? Emily, will you go out with me tonight for a drink? I can't. Right. OK, then, uh, well, some other time. No, no, I mean, I can't have to work. But I could at dinner time, though, if Mrs Windsor doesn't mind. Oh, be my guest. Give me a chance to sort the shelves out. 25p. Right. Great. I'll see you later, then. Right, er, uh, great. Butch, hold on. What? What 
time. What time? What time shall we meet? Right, eh? Uh, one o'clock in Woolpack. I'll see you there then. Yeah. Come on. It's perfect. Is that your computer's up there? Sticking a phone line? There is just one slight problem. Yes. Mandy Dingle, she rents this place. Not anymore. She's two weeks behind on the rent, isn't she? Right? Yeah, but she must have signed something. Yeah, don't worry. I'm sure I can sort something out uh, for a price. I'll pay ten pounds over whatever she's paying. <laughs> My dear chap, if I'm going to incur the wrath of Mandy Dingle, I shall want considerably more than that. Twenty. Uh, Twenty-five, and I'll sort out Mandy. Okay, twenty-five extra a month. I will... What? What do you want the place or not? Okay, twenty-five. <laughs> It's a deal. It's going from bad to worse. I mean, who'd want to filch? Seth's bad. I won't be long. No, don't be. I need a hand rearranging those tins. Where are you going, love? To the pub. Oh, we'll come with you. <laughs> hey, I didn't know you was a lunchtime drinker. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I don't drink. I'm eating butch. Really? It's sweet, isn't it? Well, sweet isn't the word I would have used. Oh, take the notice of me, love. I think you make a lovely couple. I'm not going out with him. He's a married man. Oh, my, on paper, but I wouldn't let that stop me. Betty! Well, me and myself live in sin, you know. That's different. He's not married to anybody else, is he? Well, not as far as I know. No, all I'm saying is I don't think you'll get any trouble from his wife. Why not? If they're married, she must love him. No, she loves Paddy. She only married Butch to get some money. What do you mean? Well, it's just a marriage of convenience. They're not proper man and wife. So there's nothing to stop us? No, not a thing. Butch wouldn't have asked you out if he didn't like you. He's fond of you. Are you all right? Yes. I, I think I'd better... I've just... I've, I've forgotten. I've got to help Mrs Windsor with the tins. There you go. We should be getting back. No, no worries. Chris is out to lunch. You can say that again. It's been in a right mood. Cheers. Aye, well, apart from his ex-wife just dying, he's plenty to laugh about. Well, there's no need to take it out on me. Why don't you have a word with Zoe? I'm sure she protects you. Very funny. What'd you have to go and invite her tonight for? Come on, there's no harm, is there? You should be flattered. Look, I'm not interested in Zoe Tate, all right? So Chris put Kelly up at Iron Farm? Yeah, he was going to pay her for the baby. What, just like that? Oh, he yeah, always has had more money than sense, that lad. Uh, sweet sherry, please, love. Is he really that loaded? No, stinking. <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Betty, what can I get you? Oh, I've already got one in, love. All oh, right, well, I'll have a pint when you're ready. I didn't know you were shutting up shop. I'm not. Well, how the poor lad's into cross-dressing, or uh, he's taking fancy to your frocks. What are you on about? You've not been across to the barn? I think you better see for yourself. Oh, what's we'll he up to now? Come on, Butch, I need an hand. I can't, I'm moving. Oh, suit yourself, come on! So, uh, how'd it go then? Well, there was not to it, mate. Uh, I think she does like me. Butch, love. I'm sorry, Betty, love. That seat's taken. <laughs> no. I don't think it is, love. Bit of a lick of paint, some decent furniture, place on a great. We've paid 25 quid extra a week for a flipping hovel. Right. All sorted? Yeah. Good. Uh, one more thing. I shall want three months' rent in advance of cash. You'll get it when we sign the lease. Yeah. Wouldn't mind seeing your Kelly model that. Tough. <laughs> She's a married woman. Oi! Oi, you! Put that down! Uh, excuse me. I thought you said you'd clear it with her. Uh, sorry, old chap. Uh, you're the uh, communication specialist. I knew this was a bad idea. But a flaming heck is going on, Pollard. If you don't let me go, I shall have you for assault. Yeah, but not before I kill you. I wouldn't do that, Mandy. I would. Seeing as I'm an independent witness, two of you against one defenceless man. Ah, then I'll have to get done for the both of you. <laughs> Oh, 
Look, why don't we all just calm down? Shut your gob. Sorry. This is my place. I've paid for I... it. No, you haven't. We had an agreement. Which you've broken by not paying the rent. You can't do this. I, I already have. Scott here has paid up front. I could sue you. I don't think so. You couldn't afford the legal fees. And what am I going to do with all this lot? Sorry, Mandy, not my problem. Do you want me to whip him? Can't we sort something out? There is nothing to sort out. Anyway, I'm, do I'm doing you a favour. And how'd you make that one out? Everybody knows you were losing money on this place. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You are? Mandy, what are you doing? There's nothing I can do. I could hit him! No! The place is yours. If we can sort out some compensation. Yeah, uh. 40 quid for the inconvenience? 40 quid? Why don't we call it a nice round hundred? Call it key money. It was your turn to be on call. I'm sorry, I forgot. Here. Take the pager, I'm sure you'll be all right. You owe me then. I had planned something special, you know. What? Begging Mandy for a pint at the Woolpack. Well, that is special compared to Lens. Have you ever been there? No. I've heard it's very atmospheric. Yeah, like Jupiter. It's full of smoke and noxious gases. Have you seen the size of the blocks that go in there? <sighs> Still, you must be pretty far gone on her. I wouldn't have said she was your type. That's because you don't know her. Neither do you. Well, now's my chance. Who are we going to see then, eh? Huh? Good one, little brother. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hey, <laughs> Emily. Uh, Emily. Sorry, I can't stop. Your yeah, book. Look, we'll sort something out. I can't keep doing these hours. I've got a life, you know. Do you want the job? I want to live till I'm over 30, not drop dead of an heart attack. Then stop drinking and cut down on the fags. I don't smoke. And I don't drink and never get the chance. Look, it's just this once. So are you going to take on some more drivers? Nope. Oh, this is mad. If I do any more hours, I'll be breaking the law. Well, then reporters. I'm sure Mrs Reynolds will be happy to take a statement. Oh. Give up. You know he's right. We want that new contract, we'll need more drivers. But we're not taking on the contract. We can't afford to. We could if you talked to Zoe. I told you, you'd keep her out of this. Why? Because I said so. Chris, we need some money from somewhere. So, can you think of anybody else to ask? Should have brought my jacket. Don't worry, you'll soon warm up. <coughs> They're not too keen on women in fur coats, are you? Neither are most vets. So this place isn't exactly glam. So? I just want you to know what to expect. I'm expecting a game of pool. Right. Friendly, aren't they? Well, I was just trying to work out if you're available. Or if you're my bit on side. Really? Do you want to tell him or shall I? Don't worry, he'll soon work it out. Not exactly my type. <laughs> Use them on ball, not the punters. For God's sake, don't rip the felt. The felt? The green material. Looks like we're going to have to wait a bit if we want a table to ourselves. Wish you fancy challenging that lot. Why not? <coughs> Do you fancy a game of doubles? Uh, if you like. You're mad. Probably. <laughs> what are you doing? It's a form from the bank. I'm applying for a loan for the pub. Here, you're 30, not 26. And you're divorced, not single. I'm surprised you haven't been to see your bank manager. I mean, if you're really serious about buying this place. Well, of course I am. Not that I bother. You haven't exactly got much to offer in the way of collateral. Yeah, so... First she stands me up. And then she runs away from me. What happens? She's shy. No. Happens she doesn't like me. 
I don't know what I was thinking about, Terry. I mean, a lass like that is never going to look at me, is she? Congratulations. Cheers. Yeah, what can I get you? Rum and coke, please. So how's married life? Oh, it's great, thank you very much. Uh, I'll have a pint, then. Did you have a good time, then? Yeah, you'd love Paris. It was brilliant. It was a little Chris Tate we're paying for it all. Mm. He's all heart. I had everything. Massages, facials, champagne breakfast. Put it all on the bill. Came to over two grand. Ooh. Is Chris always this generous with his money? Only if you're female and under 30. <laughs> Cheers. We owe you. <laughs> well, you win some and you lose some. Not all the time. At least I didn't rip the felt. So, I suppose I thought your idea of fun were playing bridge with local gentry. It's my idea of hell. Look, Frankie, I'm a vet. It's not a glamorous life. I suppose not. You know, I really wanted you to make a fool of yourself. Yeah, I know. Poor little rich girl. Something like that. Still plenty of time. You against me. All right. Just because you're a beginner, don't expect any favors. Would I? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Hello? Paddy? Where? Well, you'll have to go. Because Jack Sugden won't let me near his animals. Yeah, but... OK. Tell him I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm sorry, there's an emergency up at the Sugdens. So I've got to go. Just when I was beginning to enjoy myself. Why don't you come with me? Yeah, I went when I was a student. Oh, I'd love to go to Paris. Yeah. Why don't you ask Chris? Oh, as if. So, you two not back? Uh, no, no, most definitely not. Oh, funny that. I always thought you were really well suited. Like I said, Chris likes silly young girls. Oh, <laughs> maybe I'm in the chance then. Don't even think about it. He's living proof money doesn't buy you happiness. It's not happiness I was thinking of buying. Chris? Come on, you're not serious. Nah, of course not. Right, now that's sorted, I can relax. You haven't got your loan just yet. Let's just say I'm quietly confident. There's nothing quiet about it. Trisha, sweetheart, if you put nothing in your purse, you can't take anything out of it. There'd be no bank lending you money. Who says I'll need a bank? <laughs> I'm glad you're here. You can protect me from Jack Sugden. He's not a big fan of mine. All right, Sarah. What are you doing here? Well, it's me or nothing. So where is she? In the barn with Jack. There you She's been in labour for hours, but the car's not coming. Let's have a look. I was expecting Paddy. He's out on another call. I hope you're not going to let her loose on one of our animals. Frankie's just here to watch. Well, as long as that's all she's here for. You can wait for Paddy if you want to. No, seeing as I've got no choice. For heaven's sake, Jack, look at her. Do you really want to wait for Paddy? No. Right, I need all of you to give me a hand. There you go, girl. You're gonna be all right. Frankie, can you pass me my bag? Frankie. Don't be daft. You've had a setback, that's all. So don't want to know me. What is it with me, Betty? What sort of dog is that? Oh, come on, I'm not, I'm not stupid, you know. I know what people think about me. I don't mean to frighten them. Well, Emily's not frightened of you. I'm sure she likes you. Then why didn't she turn up, then? Eh? 
I just want to know. It's all right for blokes like Terry. I'm not sure he's a very good example, though. Yeah, but they always know what to say. I just keep putting my foot in it. You just need a bit of practice, that's all. What's the point, eh? I don't understand it. I got on really well, you know. I could tell her things. She never laughed at me like everybody else. I really like her, Betty. I know. And she'll come round, I'm sure of it. No, I don't. I'm never going to find somebody, am I? Thing. Hi, lass. These things happen. Can't be helped. Can you pass the revive the giant? Would it have survived? I mean, if we'd got here earlier. She'll be okay. But it's dead, isn't it? Mm. You just watch. Here you go. What's happening? We'll see. Flipping egg! I told you. I don't believe it. Neither do I sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Emmerdale. It's fine. I thought it were dead. Yeah, well, I suppose vets have some uses. I think this calls for a celebratory drink. Yeah, I think we could stretch to something special. A bit of brandy in the cupboard. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> well done, lass. You and all. I've done it hundreds of times. It were amazing. Well, you were amazing. <laughs> yeah, I was, wasn't I? Yeah. You were. Thank you. I'm sorry. Don't be. I just wanted to... I'm sorry, I shouldn't have. Wait! Sorry. Better be getting back. Well, how are you going to get home? Oh, my. Frankie! 